The power of music, the hidden secrets of the music industry. Music is something that transcends this world. Music is something that transcends the barrier of language. Music has the power to touch the very bottom of your soul. Music has the power to move your spirit. Music has the power to pull people together and even tear them apart. There is a power in music which we cannot see with our natural mind, but we can sure feel that power with our soul and spirit. You know, you know I am telling the truth. Music has the power to change your mood. One song can change your mood from being cheerful to being sorrowful. One song can bring memories back of the saddest and lowest points of your life. One song can evoke emotions that you did not even know you had inside you. You know, I am telling the truth. Don't take music lightly. I warn the members of my congregation not to listen to secular music, but there's always one person who says, but it's only music, or, it's just songs. You find people who carelessly listen to songs, they could care less what the lyrics are, whatsoever. They know every word of the song, but they have never stopped to think about what exactly the lyrics of that song are attempting to convey. I am sorry to say this, but there are mainstream songs out there that actively worship the devil in their lyrics, and churchgoers actually sing these secular songs because they are catchy and they have a nice beat to it. If the presence of God can come where the Lord is being worshipped and exalted, what spirits do you think can come when the devil is being exalted? There are even articles that I have read where people who left the occult have stated some of the music videos that we see on TV are representations of occult ceremonies, and in all honesty, that doesn't surprise me. Does that surprise you? I am here to just encourage you to be selective about what you listen to, be selective about what you play in your home. You need to understand that the devil will do all he can to enter into the life of a person. And what I see creeping more and more into the church is, Christian artists, that look no different from secular music, Christian music, that sounds no different from secular music. We, as the body of Christ, have been called out of the world and not to be like the world. Just because a song says, God, three times in a song, it does not mean that that song is a Christian song or that it is a Christian artist. You need to be discerning with what music you listen to, even if it is labeled as Christian music. Is that music exalting a man or is it exalting Jesus? The first thing you need to look out for when listening to popular Christian music nowadays is, is the song or music exalting a man or is it exalting Jesus? Is it exalting a man or is it exalting God? I want to draw your attention to an important aspect of popular Christian music. It is crucial that we discern whether the songs we listen to exalt a man or exalt Jesus, whether they glorify individuals or glorify God. Man-centered worship is a real phenomenon that we need to be aware of. We live in a time where Christian music has gained immense popularity and influence. It has the potential to shape our spiritual experiences and influence our understanding of faith. While many Christian songs beautifully worship and exalt Jesus, we must also acknowledge the presence of songs that focus more on the individual rather than Christ or on men rather than God. When we examine the lyrics of contemporary Christian music, we need to ask ourselves, who is the central focus of these songs? Is it Jesus or is it a man? It is essential to discern the underlying message and ensure that the songs we listen to align with biblical principles. Songs that exalt a man rather than Christ often emphasize personal experiences, achievements, and emotions. While it is valuable to express our personal encounters with God, we must be cautious not to elevate ourselves or others above Jesus. The core of our worship should always be Christ-centered, acknowledging His sacrifice, love, and lordship over our lives. Furthermore, we need to be aware of songs that focus on men rather than God. These songs may emphasize the human leaders or artists behind them, glorifying their talents or popularity, or they can have lyrics that worship self rather than God. Songs about, me, me, I, and me. Songs of worship should not put yourself on a pedestal or another human being on a pedestal. The danger of man-centered worship is that it can lead us astray from the true purpose of worship, to magnify and exalt Jesus Christ. When our worship becomes fixated on personal experiences, emotions, or the abilities of human beings, it can distort our understanding of God's greatness and diminish His rightful place in our lives. As believers, we need to be discerning in our music choices. Let us seek songs that exalt Jesus, magnify His name, and draw us closer to Him. Let us prioritize lyrics that proclaim His truth, His character, and His redemptive work. These songs will align our hearts with the purpose of worship and deepen our relationship with God. As we engage with popular Christian music, let us be mindful of whether it exalts a man or exalts Jesus, whether it centers on individuals or centers on God. 
Man-centered worship is a reality in today's music industry, and we must remain vigilant. Listen to the lyrics, examine the lyrics of the song. May we choose songs that truly glorify God, exalt Jesus, and let us into a deeper and more authentic worship experience. Secondly, there is so-called Christian music performed by artists whose lives are in direct contradiction to the Christian life they claim to represent. I am not referring to individuals who occasionally stumble and fall, but rather to those who overtly and explicitly live a lifestyle that opposes the Word of God. We are living in a time where Christian music has gained immense popularity and influence. Many artists have emerged within the industry, presenting themselves as ambassadors of the Christian faith. They release songs with lyrics that seem to align with biblical truths, and their music is labeled as Christian. However, we must exercise discernment and consider the lives these artists lead outside of their music careers. As believers, we are called to be disciples of Jesus Christ, living according to his teachings and striving to honor him in all aspects of our lives. The Bible reminds us in 1 Peter, chapter 1, verses 15-16, But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct, since it is written, You shall be holy, for I am holy. When we encounter Christian artists whose lives are clearly contrary to the principles and values outlined in God's word, it presents a serious challenge to our faith. We must ask ourselves, what impact does it have on our spiritual walk when we listen to the music and support individuals who openly live in rebellion against God's commands? Listening to music is more than just enjoying catchy tunes and appealing melodies. It has the power to influence our thoughts, emotions, and ultimately our actions. When we immerse ourselves in music performed by artists who live in ways that oppose the Word of God, we risk allowing their lifestyles to subtly shape our own beliefs and values. The danger lies in the potential confusion and inconsistency that arises when we embrace the message of their songs while turning a blind eye to their ungodly lives. It can lead to a compromised understanding of biblical truth, diluting our commitment to righteousness and holiness. Moreover, it can send a mixed message to the world around us. Non-believers observing our enthusiasm for these artists may question the integrity of our faith. They may see hypocrisy in our endorsement of music that promotes godly values while the lives of the artists themselves reflect a contradictory lifestyle. As followers of Christ, we are called to live lives of authenticity and integrity. Our actions should align with our beliefs, and our choices should reflect the principles found in God's Word. This includes being discerning about the music we listen to and the artists we support. Let us prioritize music that not only offers catchy melodies but also aligns with biblical truths and is performed by artists who live lives that honor God. Let us seek music that reflects the fruit of the Spirit and points us toward a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ. Let us seek music that uplifts and inspires us to live wholeheartedly for Christ, supporting artists whose lives reflect the transformative power of the gospel. Thirdly and finally, there's the danger of listening to so-called Christian music that is vague about whether it is even a Christian song. It is essential for us as believers to discern and understand the implications of the music we allow into our hearts and minds. A fundamental part of Christian songs is the acknowledgement and praise of a higher power, specifically God or Jesus Christ. These songs are not mere melodies or catchy tunes, they are heartfelt expressions of our faith and devotion. When we listen to music that lacks a clear acknowledgement of a higher power, we risk diluting the very essence of Christian worship. The purpose of Christian music is to glorify God, uplift our spirits, and draw us closer to Him. If a song does not acknowledge a God Almighty or Jesus Christ, it might not be a Christian song at all. A key theme in Christian songs is the message of faith, hope, and love. These themes are central to our Christian walk and are meant to inspire and strengthen our relationship with God. When we listen to music that lacks these fundamental elements, we miss out on the spiritual nourishment that God desires to impart through music. Christian songs have the power to ignite our faith infuse hope into our hearts, and remind us of God's unconditional love. If these themes are missing and instead the song centers around themes that don't uplift or inspire in a spiritual or religious sense, it may not be a Christian song. As followers of Christ, we must be discerning in our choices, including the music we allow into our lives. Vague, Christian, music that fails to acknowledge a higher power and lacks the essential message of faith, hope, and love can lead us astray, diverting our attention from the true worship of God. Let us not be swayed by popular trends or catchy melodies but rather seek music that aligns with our beliefs and uplifts our souls. May we be vigilant in selecting songs that truly honor God and draw us closer to Him. In closing, let us remember the words of the psalmist in Psalm chapter 95, verse 1. Come, 
Let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. May our hearts and voices be filled with songs that glorify Him and encourage one another in the faith.